Hi, I'm Dr. William Carroll. I'm a primary care provider here in Westwood with UCLA Health. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you why we should all wear a mask to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus disease, otherwise known as COVID-19. The coronavirus is found in respiratory particles or air from an infected person. Large respiratory droplets are released when someone sneezes, coughs, sings, or talks. These droplets are invisible to the naked eye and usually drop to the ground within six feet. They do not linger in the air. A finer respiratory mist or spray that can linger in the air a bit longer is also released during these actions, but also when we're simply breathing. If someone has COVID-19, they release these droplets and finer mist that carry the coronavirus into the air. This can even happen when we don't know that we have the infection or have any symptoms at all. This brings us to our main topic, why we should all wear a mask. Masks create a simple barrier to keep infectious respiratory particles, large and small, from reaching our nose and mouth, where the virus can enter and infect our body. This is how masks protect ourselves. But masks also protect others. If you have the coronavirus disease and do not know it because you don't have any symptoms, wearing a mask will keep the respiratory particles from leaving your personal space and infecting others around us. If everyone wears a mask and maintains physical distancing by six feet or more, we can all stop the coronavirus disease together. In fact, we expect 100,000 American lives can be saved by January if 95% of people within the United States wears a mask in public. So who should wear a mask? A simple rule is everyone two years of age and older should wear a mask, but there are a few specific exceptions. Patients who have very severe lung disease in which wearing a mask may be life-threatening should not wear a mask. I will say this is an extremely rare circumstance in which you should discuss this with your medical professional if you believe you fall into this category. Other situations would include those who are unconscious, incapacitated, or those who cannot wear a mask and safely remove it from themselves independently. You should wear a mask or a cloth face covering any time you are around people who do not live in your own household. You should wear a mask both when you are indoors and outdoors. However, it's especially important to wear a mask indoors and in enclosed spaces. There are many types of masks to choose from in different styles, patterns, and fabrics. Masks that you should typically avoid are those with an exhalation vent or valve and those with a hole for drinking straw. Unfortunately, these allow respiratory droplets to escape and put others around you at risk. Here are a few important steps to ensure you wear a mask correctly. First, you should wash your hands before you put a mask. Next, you should put your mask over both your nose and your mouth and secure it under your chin. I'm going to repeat this one because we see a lot of people making this mistake. Please ensure you cover your nose. You should make sure our mask fits snugly against the sides of your face and also make sure you can breathe comfortably. And finally, you should keep your hands off your mask when you're wearing it. Try not to touch your face, pull it down, or repeatedly take off your mask. To safely remove your face mask, only handle the air loops or the ties. Once it's off, put in the dirty clothes to be washed after each wear or dispose it in the trash if it's disposable. Be careful not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth when removing your mask and wash your hands or use hand sanitizer immediately after you put your mask in the trash or put it in the laundry. To review, we should all wear a mask to both protect ourselves and the others in our community. We should wear a mask every time we leave our homes, when we are both inside and outside. Wearing a mask saves lives.